Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials. Today I'll show you the process how to retouch the skin in camera or filter. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first, I'll make a copy by pressing Ctrl or Command J or you can drag this one and drop in a plus sign. You'll get another copy of this layer. This one is for the retouch and I'm giving the rename Re. And then go to the filter and camera filter. So camera filter is a plugins of the Photoshop. If you are the user of the CS version, you have to install it manually. If you are the user of the CC version, you are getting this one by default in your Photoshop. So from here, here are lots of panels. And uh, first one, this one is a white balance tool. If you press over there, you will get a dropper over here. And which color you want to pick up from this face, you can just press once, it will get like that. So I'm taking this or this yeah that's good and after that you are getting some portion over here he's appeared here and here over here so if you need you can just adjust the light a little bit that's good and then you can choose another one or you can make it a little bit customized suppose like this or so this one i think the more realistic and after that I want to make the skin smooth and I want to remove the spot. So here some spot we are just watching over here. Those are not prominent. But if you want to get this one in, if you want to find it out. So go to the spot healing brush tool over here. And here visualize spot. Just click over here. It will be like that. And if you decrease the lights, you'll get the dot which is not prominent but it will hamper in your portrait so just select once if you want to get the brush size smaller or like bigger press the third bracket opening or closing it will work without so just select once so what is happening up there this portion that means the green one taking the pixels from the non affected areas and the red pixel that is fixing up the spots so if i press over here it's taking these things from here if you want you can just customize over here and it will take this portion this pixel act actually so here and here here and here lots of things here is some spots so here and that's fine after that you can just turn it on yeah that's fine before and after here was some spots here and after just removing that you are not getting that if you don't want to get the round dotted circle just show the overlay just uncheck that things and now time for like uh, smoothing the skin how to do that from here you will get the brush and here is the feather and other stuff so what is the feather and other things if i consider this brush when you are getting some like dot lines outer side of the main circle that is the feather if i increase the feather the outer circle will be more bigger and the size this one is the brush size you can adjust the brush size by pressing third bracket opening and closing it will help you out to make it more precisely and feather i want to make it like this and density if you make it like 100 percent it will like the opacity 100 uh, percent so you can make the preference i think the preference i would like to 41 for these things and here other stuffs that means which things just making the skin smooth here the texture if you add the texture the face texture will appear and the clarity the clarity is the that things if you make it like minus value it will be more smooth and if you make it plus value it will be more prominent and dehaze as well the dehaze is the black things if you dehaze these things that means the plus value it will be more darker and if you make it minus value it will be more lighter so you have to choose the proper value which is like that so after that the saturation you know the percentage of the color if you increase the saturation the face color will be more prominent but i don't want to do that really and at first you have to place in one yeah 
here the point and this pointer will work and this pointer will give you the settings if you change the settings like clearly like that and dehaze it will be i think zero is good saturation minus 24 is good and highlight if i make it consider like minus 10 and the here the exposure like that now if i brush it out it will be affected or that means it's working and if you decrease the sharpness so it will work like that and the exposure if you need you can increase and give the shadow yeah that's good when you are brushing over here this portion is like affecting that means if you increase the things which is the density i'm making it 62 and now i'm brushing over here and it started to working so here this place which area you want to make it smooth that area you can brush from here don't brush it again and again otherwise it will just apply several times if you need you can just brush one time at a time so that's good this place this place and this area and this area if you need you can change the value of the brush size and this portion i want to make it smooth and here here if you need another brush suppose you want to make the portion more smoother but not the same settings you can just go to the new options and take another anchor point and then you can change the things which is the clarity and uh, like texture and other stuff suppose here is the hairy area and i want to make it more smooth you can just do like that so if you need actually so this portion this portion and this and this portion as well so it's working with your preferences that's fine and this portion as well yeah that's fine okay let's see the before one and after one before and after now time for go to the other adjustment from here if you go to the hand tool you can adjust the lights or tints and temperature i'm making the temperature like that and the exposure is good and highlight i'll make it a little bit down and added some shadow from here added some texture if you need or if you like to add the texture in the portrait you can add like that and here the clarity i'm making the clarity down and dehaze option i'll make it the dehaze a little bit plus six that's good and the mid-tone or vibrance like that I'm making it a little bit down yeah that's good and from here blue portion i'll make it down the blue portion that's why the face will be pop up and here the purple color or magenta color magenta purple that is the lips color actually i want to make this like and the saturation i'll increase that things and the magenta as well and the hue portion i'll change the hue if you need you can make it like that and i'll take this one that's good and after that from here the sharpening amount and the noise reduction from the luminance panel it will changing in overall way so don't make it more i want to make like that that's good so for that reason i will add some texture i'm using the photoshop 2020 and i think if you want to get the all the settings like same you can use my version from here i'll add some little bit vignetting that is the post crop vignetting and the color correction if you need you can do like that the hsl panel hue saturation and luminance you can adjust the portion which is like this so that's fine let's see the before one and after one before and after so hues change in a before uh, the not in a proper like white balances and other stuff and in this panel you are getting like that 
and saturation of the yellow i think that will be a little bit down and the luminance that will be a little bit up that's fine and the split toning if you need you can adjust the split toning i think this split toning is good for this photo that is the realistic face color if you want to add another like color shadow and highlight color you can add like that so i think this one is a good portion a good thing in this way and the sharpness from the here sharpening panel detail panel you can add the sharpness so after one you're getting like that so i think you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i am a7 signing out today bye bye